State Affairs with Edmondo Bilo is live. Did you see the Shenekon government being evicted within... No, I knew mm. I knew Chenekon's government was just a joke. I mean, I knew that from the one. I mean, it was that was that was that was, that was not good. I mean, I knew it was a joke. You knew? Oh yes, it was a joke. It was a joke, and I also knew that certain more important people than uh, Chenekon also lobbied for that job. In the thirteen-page letter to Babangida. Do you have the letter? It's in the belly of the military. Who are these ones that lobbied for that job? When the book is out, it will be, they will, the name will be there. But two prominent Yoruba people. Are they still alive? One is dead, one is alive. You left Nigeria and went to the UK? Yes, I went to the UK and to lecture at the University of Lancaster. Okadibo encouraged you to leave? Yes. Okadibo was your friend? Very close friend. Uh, in fact, when I went to apply to teach at the University of Lancaster, it, uh, it was uh, Okadibo who drove with me. We went, we went, we went in a car. Oh. From London to Lancaster. Who was really Okaribu at that time? Okaribu was just a politician. And he was not in, he was not in politics at that time. Okaribu visited London at that time. We stayed at um, Edgeware Road. Okaribu visited London with, with Ujuku. A brilliant man? Oh, oh brilliant. Brilliant. First class brain. Very first class brain. Very cerebral. Very cerebral. In fact, I was the first person I used that word to describe. Very cerebral. And Nigeria never had people like that as president? Unfortunately. Why? Because Nigerians are timid. Nigerians have always made wrong choices. And the article that is coming out in Sunday Sun it is titled Chances, Choices, and Consequences by Tola Adeni. That's my article for this Sunday. Nigerians just made wrong choices. And when he became president of the Senate, I was so happy. And I was in Abuja at that time. If I was the first person to congratulate him, I went to, to the Senate chambers. As was coming out, I embraced him. My wife was with me and said, congratulations. And I thought, we were going to be there. You didn't see in the future that Obasan Joe was going to deal with him? I knew, I suspected and I also knew, because I, uh, he was not Obasan Joe's candidate. Why was he not Obasan Joe's candidate? Did he tell you? Obasan Joe cannot stand anybody that has brains or, Oba- has, or has independence of thought. You Abbas- just cannot stand anybody with brains. Abbasanjo was your very good friend. He was, at the point in time. After you have called him and La Yadwa twin devils. Yeah, I did, and said more unprintable words about him. Unprintable words? Yes, in Tribune. And you later became his friend? He sued me for libel. Yes, well, we became friends in 84, after he sent La Yadwa, who is my adopted father, to beg me. But you went to Abiyoko, I Yes, because Adetunji is a man I cannot, I cannot say no to till tomorrow. So the, the, the old man came here, Adetunji is 83 now. The man came here and said, Tola, I want you to come with me. I said, to where? I said, I want to tell him you are coming with me to Abekuta. My friend has asked me to beg you and that I want to assure him that it's all over. That you, I could also have brought him here, but I want you. You are younger than both of us. He wrote in his book, My Watch, that you... I mean, in any case, the book is a teacher of lies. I mean... He would see his memoirs about the war. Read uh, Alabi Sama's book. If you check volume three of Obasanjo's book, yes, he took Isama to the cleaners. Who? Isama. But it's not true. I mean, you, you don't. He, he took Isama to the cleaners. He's, he said it was only pu- 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 publishing photographs. The man thinks he's bigger than God because the man believes that he has no fault. Nobody who has been president or has been head of state before him, was good. And nobody after him is good. The man believes that he has no faults. He thinks he's better than Muhammad and Jesus and all of them put together because all those people have faults. He did not see himself as having any fault at all. In his book, he always appealed to God. He blessed God. He never indicated he was bigger than God. Yes, he could say that to the gallery. He could say that to those who don't know him. You know him well? Of course I know. He said his summer... He even ran away from the war front. Which is not true. He said Theophilus Danjuma had to deal with Isama because he was an indisciplined officer. Did uh, Danjuma confirm that? Are you angry with Obasanjo because he took your piece of land in Abuja from you? No, no, no. 
I've been angry with him since, since he, he announced with his mouth that uh, the best candidate may not win, that the best candidate may not be, may not be the person to rule Nigeria. When the best person made that kind of pronouncement, when they talk about our law, they yeah, said the best candidate may not win. Or when he did this Operation Fool the Nation and it... Uh, is this it? Operation Fool the Nation? Yes, Operation Fool the Nation. I mean, do you see anybody carrying who about saying they're doing Operation Fool the Nation in the world? Do they still uh, use hoe to cultivate land? What happened to your land in Abuja? It was taken over by Abasanjo because, I mean, uh, when, uh, I mean, Rufai used to come to Canada and I went to Rufai in, in, uh, in Abuja. But you did not develop the land? Well, I went into exile. And when the land was left fallow, there was a need to... No, it wasn't left fallow when the land was not developed. Then they said that you read registration to even... You have to do revalidation of your of your CFO. So I worked on that between 1999 and 2001. So they revalidated and I got another CFO for the same land. And so they are, then they did are doing another geometrics or whatever, which they all know, asked us again to pay almost a million naira, which I paid. It was in that process. Then they just said... We've already, I can show you photographs. We've already do, we've done the uh, grand opening. We've had pictures. We've done the, we've, we've had the, the first layer of, uh, of of blocks. I was to have eight uh, terrace buildings there and eight terrace built the other side. And that was the only plot I had in Abuja. Do you think it was a plot against you or it was of, just of, a, a, gen, a general clamp? No, down? it was against me. Although I would say that they took a Quincy's land, which yes. allowed the which led the man to untimely death, but he, 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 he took the plots of land of people he didn't whose faces he didn't like. Perhaps he redistributed to other Nigerians. Of course, I'm not a Nigerian, so he could have distributed to other Nigerians because I'm not a Nigerian. Do you think he wanted to deal with you? Of course, because when we became friends. We, it went the whole hog, we became real friends. 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92. I was, I had, I had a room in Otter. I was, I mean, I could go to Otter without his, without his, no, I just phoned him, I just bought local and so on. He would phone me from London, I would call him in London. In fact, I remember the trip we went to London. I was, we were the same, we sat in the economy. At a point in time, he put me on the slab. I sat on the slab. Uh, the the smallish man who became governor of uh, of uh, Plateau was also sitting by his side. The man who has just left us, uh, Jonah Jang. Yes, Jonah Jang was sitting. The, the, he was sitting on the aisle. So I left my seat and I was sitting on the bus just now for almost an hour, where we were chatting. And when he was coming back to Nigeria to be arrested by Abacha, we spoke at length in London. And I said, "Don't go." So we were that close. We were close. But you're no longer close. Well, when he became head of state, he wrote a letter to me in 1999. He said, my dear Kogun, I still have the letter. He invited me to dinner. I went to that dinner, December 2nd. That was the last time I ever sat with him or had any discussion with him. Although I saw him at uh, Oyinola's uh, Thanksgiving in Okuku. And I went across to say hello to him. I know that person. I'm a Yoruba man. And the man stood up and said, good afternoon, good morning, sir, to me. And I knew he was just mocking me. What was his role in the June 12th saga? Well, I'm sure you've heard about what he did when demonstrators were going about in order, that he accosted them and, and challenged them. And you also remember that uh, he said in South Africa that, that uh, Abila was not the Messiah Nigeria wanted. And I also know that uh, if I'd had his way, he probably would have wanted to head interim government. He fell out with Shagari, he ran into problems. He fell out with Yadu, Yadu, I ran into problems. He fell out with Jonathan, Jonathan ran into problems. Do you think he will fall out with Buhari? Time will tell. The thing is that nobody knows how to do anything well apart from Obasanjo. So sooner or later, the honeymoon will be over. And I don't think that Buhari will spend four years without touching Obasanjo. With. So you see Obasanjo writing an open letter to Buhari sooner than later? I can confirm that. And when he writes an open letter, something happens. 
How do you interpret that? No, 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 no. The, 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 the thing is this. You cannot compare Buhari with Shagari or Yaradua or Daniel or any of those people. None of those people had 10% of Buhari's integrity. None of them had the large following that Buhari commands today in Nigeria. And I'm sure that you will know that a lot of people even saw Obasanjo's open romance and support for Buhari as opportunism. And that was just doing so to, to, to save his own skin. Because he knew that nobody could have stopped the train. Nobody could have stopped the train. There was no way Buhari would have lost that election. He's a very intelligent man. Well, he is. I mean, people say he's native intelligence, and that's a word I don't like anybody using. There's nothing like native intelligence. When you are intelligent, you are intelligent. There's nothing like a native intelligence. He's good at reading the future. Uh, Obasanjo John is not an ordinary human being. How do you mean? We have to give that to him. He is, I think it's a special breed. I mean, with all the faults and frailties, with, he could just brush everything aside and go on as if nothing has happened. He just been elected the president of all the world's ex-presidents. Obasan John is a special breed. I think, I don't believe in Christian God, but I think his Christian God loves him. Obasan John, given his citizens, given his circumstances surrounding his birth, given his low education startup and so on, to have achieved all that he achieved, to have gone this far in life, I think we should give credit to that speciality that he is, that he's a special being. And he's not someone that anybody can destroy. <laughs>